Come on, Wiener. Come on. Frank, no. So there was an incident. You know how I challenged Manitoba the other day, saying that it didn't really impress me with its snowfall? Well, she came around. I'm impressed. We got our foot of snow. Back here it's been packed down a little bit yet, but scraped everything off the top of that, trying to save that. That uh, fabric's getting pretty brittle already, so we wanted to get through one more winter, trying to keep the weight off the roof. There's a ton of snow that was on top of there. And look at this tree. Everything's nicely covered in a dusting of snow. Including a weasel. Right, Diesel? Where did the grass go? It's here somewhere. So last weekend before the snow fell, I got the Christmas lights up here on our uh, shed in the back. And up along that there too. All the way around. But I do still need to do the house. It's going to be a little more tricky today. I'm not going to be able... Well, I won't, I won't do it from on the roof because there's all the snow on the roof right now. I don't want to slip off. But I'll use a ladder and see if I can uh, get it done that way. It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. We are going to spoil ourselves this Sunday morning. Get us some breakfast from Tim's. We don't eat out much anymore. So we have been eating out more than we usually, or not usually, than we have in the last couple of months. We've been really trying to pinch our pennies and eat out as little as possible. But with the snow on the ground, and being the weekend, and the fact that we need to go grocery shopping, so we don't really got a lot of good food in the house right now. We need to go grocery shopping, but we don't want to go right now. But we're hungry right now, okay? I'm trying to justify this. We're eating up. I'm gonna get us a couple of wraps for breakfast. So the big plans for today is to start Christmasizing our house. Now I wish I would have done more last weekend before the snow fell, but whatever, it's sort of more fun doing it when the snow's on the ground because it gets you in the spirit a little bit more. So like I showed you, I got the, the lights around the sheds already in the back. I got to get the lights, those red and green lights around the house. I got to put the icicles on the front. We got to get Frosty out there in the front with his little presents and that little uh, uh, lit up wiener dog. We got to get everything going so that tonight when the sun goes down at like four o'clock, we can turn them on and be like, ha! Ah! First on the block in the Christmas spirit. Mm, that's right. They're already playing Christmas music at Walmart in town here. And uh, where was it? I think Superstore as well, was it? And the mall in town starts Christmas songs uh, on tomorrow as well, I believe. So like I have to remind everybody every time our Thanksgiving's in October. So we got nothing now until Christmas. So after Remembrance Week, it goes straight into Christmas mode up here. Okay, maybe not everybody. I don't speak on behalf of all 38 million Canadians, okay? But I speak on behalf of this one right here. It's full on Christmas now. I hope I remember what she wanted. We're both getting the same thing. I just ordered the same thing as her because it's easier that way. I have less things to remember then. It's using my brain. So I don't have to use my brain. A farmer sausage breakfast wrap, two of them. With creamy barbecue sauce instead of Chipotle. Don't let me forget, okay? It's my turn. See if I can do this. <laughs> Hi there, what can I get for you today? Hi. Could I get two bre uh, farmer breakfast wraps? Okay, sausage or bacon? Uh, with sausage. And right. could I get creamy barbecue on both of them instead of uh, Chipotle? Yeah, of course. And that's it. Alrighty, it'll be ready at the window. Thank you. gonna be a good day. Did 
Did I say it right? I felt like I said it wrong. <clears throat> breakfast farmer's wrap or is it a farmer breakfast wrap? Breakfast farmer, farmer breakfast. Oh no, I hope they know what I meant. Did I bring my money? Yes, I did. Hey, and get this. Because we are trying to save money and not eat out too much, uh, brought my own coffee. <laughs> you think they'll be offended? I guess we could have bought Tim's coffee, but we already had a coffee at home made, so brought my own coffee to Tim's. Saving money, right? I'm excited for this wrap. I haven't had one in a while. Have you ever tried it? Try it. The the farmer, the sausage farmer breakfast wrap. I probably said that wrong. The far the farmer, that wrap. But switch out the chipotle sauce for creamy barbecue sauce. And this is Britt's idea. It is delicious. It's worth it. Give it a shot. Got to get my app ready so I get points. I don't know if I get points for this or not. Oh, I have 80 points already. Very nice. See, and I just give them, uh, it's a little barcode on my phone and then I just point my phone at them and they scan it and then it goes on to my, my points. I don't gather points as fast as I used to, but I'm not gonna go through here and not get the points. This guy needs to wipe off his truck. His truck's all full of snow still. My pickup truck is just covered in like eight inches of snow right now. The suspension's probably just weighed down. I gotta wipe all that snow off today yet. Said it's ready to go to work tomorrow. We've got the goods. Husband of the year right here. Just saying. Trophy husband. Coming home with the goods. It's gonna be a good day. It's coffee break time. We got out the Christmas placemats. Britt's been working real hard in the house here while I've been outside doing the lights. I've got the icicles up on the front. I'm just working on the red and green going all the way around the outside. I've got Frosty out front here. We don't really show the front of our house, so I'll just have to describe it to you. Maybe we can show you a, a picture of it when it's all complete at some point, but that's usually a, a thing we don't show that much in the videos. We got all our Christmas stuff out here. Okay, we got, I got wish I may have got all the what? Oh, sorry. All the Christmas movies. I think I got them out of the shed. <laughs> I think I got them all. No guarantees, but it's a good start. So this is our collection, part of it anyways. We have a few. Just Christmas movies. Yeah. So we got to get started on that soon because we've only got a month and a half until Christmas. I'll watch a majority of them at least. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I'm filming this on my new camera today. Look at this. Isn't this cool how you can see yourself? Oh, wow. Let's see, see what you're filming. Very cool. <laughs> That's awesome. And it's only slightly bigger than the, the Hero 8. Just a little bit bigger. And the batteries don't uh, mix. You can't put a GoPro Hero 8 battery in a GoPro Hero 10. But I think the 9 and 10 share the same batteries. But that's okay. I got three batteries for this one now. So on the back here, we got our pencil Christmas tree that's not sitting quite straight yet, but it's okay. We just put it up. I don't, I don't want to touch it. No, that was a bad idea. Bad idea. Smack my hand. Those uh, ornaments on there, most of them all mean a great deal to Britt. She has a lot of sentimental value in Christmas ornaments that she's gotten from when she was just a little kid all the way up until now. I can show you a few of them now. Like this one we got from our nephews on her side. And this one I got her on our first Christmas with Chevy. That's little Chevy right there. And this I got for her when uh, our first Christmas after Mitzi passed away. If I can find a way not to have that glare on there. there you go. That was Mitzi. She passed away, uh, <coughs> excuse me, just a little bit before Christmas that year. And the writing on there says, if love could have saved you, you would have lived forever. That's a picture we're in there. Uh, this was our first Christmas. This first Christmas on there is in her. Um, she could probably tell you what a lot of these other ones mean to her. There's a couple of ones in there. All I know is I don't touch it. 
I'm allowed to touch it, but I choose not to because I choose life. I broke one of hers uh, when we our first Christmas together before we were married, I think. I touched the tree and one of her ornaments fell down and broke. And I'm surprised she still married me. But here we are. Thank God she did. Hey, Frank. What? You excited for Christmas? I was just telling them about all your ornaments and how I broke one. It's okay. A while ago. The important part of it stayed intact so it still goes on the tree. It's okay. Yeah, she still married me. Yeah. That's how you know she loves me. It took a I... lot of... a lot of resilience. Anyways, I gotta finish the lights outside. I am just in for a little coffee break. Whoa, don't spill it. Okay, guys, that said me, I said to me, that I should take over the vlog now. He's got all the fancy guys telling us, oh, here comes one. Oh, wait. Wait, here comes trouble. Here comes one. This is. This is. Give us, man, the weasel vlog. You like me on TV? I want to be. Hi! Hi, I'm Chevy. Oh, my dad is dead. Is it on TV now? You're on, you're on the vlog, Chevy. You guys are finishing it up for me. I guess I could get him. I could get, I guess I could. You did a very good job. Your hands are very cold. Let me warm them up. They are cold. Yeah, you, you can hurt yourself. It's cold outside. You should wear your mittens on your paws. So maybe I should. But then I can't organize the lights properly. I have to be able to get the lights. You guys like them? They're very nice. You should show them. Yeah, you may as well show them, man. You've been talking about it all day. Well, I guess I could show you right now. They're on a sensor and they just popped on because it's just got dark enough out. So I'll show you the backyard, okay? Uh, like I was telling you earlier, we don't show the front of our house on YouTube. But uh, I can show you the back. All right, let's turn the lights off in here. Okay. All right. Okay. Excuse me, Chevy. I'm sorry, Dad. Sorry. I'm a, it's kind of a big guy. Now we in your way. Okay. So, oh, one sec, you can see this. Here, I'll cover the screen up. There you go. So we used to have icicles going further up there. I replaced that with green and red. I'm gonna have those going all the way around the shed yet too. And then on the sheds out there, got all the lights up. I guess I should take you outside to show you. All right, I gotta put a jacket on for this. You know I love you guys, right? I'm going out there in the cold just to show you some Christmas lights. That's how you know I love you. All right? One second. A lot of things I do for you. <laughs> All right. One second. One second. This is a process, okay? Pro process. This is a process. I still don't know how to say it. Process? Process? I'm pretty sure it's both, actually, yeah? Depends where you're from. I guess it makes sense. You guys want to come help me show them the lights? I'd love to. Diesel, you gonna come too? Of course I'm coming. I'm going the way you go, man. Who's gonna keep you warm? I'm gonna call you when you come. Okay. I'm gonna put on my, my my dog walking slippers. Okay, don't tell anybody. You know, the wrong people find out I wear these slippers outside. They'll never look at me the same again. Let's go. Come on, guys. All right. So I'm not quite finished yet, because I'm going to do the red and green all the way up here as well, like I did last year. Got the red and green on the house. And then I took some of the icicles that we used to light up our yard uh, during the summer. I took them, put them on the front of the house. I got those lights there. Those red and green are going to go all the way around the perimeter as well. At the back of the house done up right there and then these icicles going around that side and that side over there i need to get another couple of strands because i only had enough to go up to there but oh well and we got this shed done up here got that one done up like a little gingerbread house and then these white lights stay up all year round because these things light up our backyard so that when we walk our dogs uh, we can see what they're doing and where they're messes are so that we can clean it up. Mm-hmm. So that's that. 
Ooh, it's getting cold out. And then on the top you got red and green on top and the icicles. And of course a Christmas wreath. Yeah, I thought you weren't going to show them the front. Well, I showed them a little bit. I can show it close up. I just don't like showing the front of the house as a whole. I, I just don't do that on YouTube. Some things that can stay private for us, you know? Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense, I guess, yeah. And earlier in the vlog, I said that we set up the tree. Now, Britt didn't correct me because she's a good person, but uh, the correct way to say that statement is that she put up the tree and she decorated it. <laughs> Still seems a little crooked, doesn't it? I don't want to touch it, though. No, I'm just going to leave it. Not going to risk it. One of my favorite pieces. The snow globe. Everyone needs a snow globe in, at Christmas. It's like a little, uh... Well, I'm gonna turn on this lamp here as well. You can see what's in there. There you go. It's like a little snowman in there. And that's a sign that my sister Cheryl made for us. She's very gifted and very talented. She also made these other ones for us. Uh, let's see, where, where is it? This one up here she made? And this one here as well. Yeah, she's got a lot of talent. Both my sisters are very talented when it comes to artsy stuffs. They're very good. And then my uncle as well, out in uh, Ontario, he made this for us for our wedding. It says Joshua and Brittany in the middle and geese brook. There, he made that for us. So many different gifts and talents in the family. It's very nice. Really appreciated that. That's that. I guess I'll continue with what I was doing. That's our Christmas lights so far. And some people have asked if we're still doing the competition with Troy. I, I forgot that I haven't mentioned it to you guys because we, we did a collab on his channel and we explained that we're not going to be doing that this year. Uh, for different reasons on both sides, from him and from me on our side, we just didn't have... We're just not going to do the competition this year. Okay, we're going to postpone it until maybe next year, if we can. But we're going to wait and see uh, how it goes. We're just both not in a position right now to uh, go crazy. On was it? <laughs> oh no! Whew. I better not be allergic to Christmas. Wouldn't that be awful? But yeah, Troy and I, we uh, just talked about, we decided, you know what, maybe not this year. Uh, we want to go all out when the, when the competition does happen. We were going to have a competition who could decorate their property in their house the best and have you guys be the judges and uh, for Christmas because we're both kind of Christmas nuts. But we'll see. Maybe another year, but it's not going to happen this year. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. Have a good one, and uh, we'll see you later. Hope you're getting into the... The Christmas spirit, even though I know you Americans, you haven't had Thanksgiving yet. I understand, okay? I am not American. Our Thanksgiving has long passed. We are in full Christmas mode right now, okay? And we get a little bit of an early head start because we're closer to Santa, okay? If you didn't know this, Santa is Canadian. <clears throat> Don't mean to brag or anything, but uh, he's ours. The North Pole's in Canada. Just so you know. <laughs> That's something for you to argue about in the comment section. He's ours. I'll see you guys later. Have a, oh well, for you Americans, I hope you guys are getting into the Thanksgiving spirit. You guys have a good Thanksgiving. And for the rest of the world, I challenge you. Send me your pictures of all your Christmas decorations, okay? Send it to me at uh, on Facebook or something. I want to see what you guys came up with. I love Christmas.